Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going to talk about Mika and the Witch's Mountain, which is a game that I got access thanks to Key Mailer. Shout out to them for providing the key. Um, I wanted to display here from the start that this game, from the moment you first see it, you're thinking Ghibli Studios. And the art style definitely delivers to that. The, the characters are very appealing, very interesting. And the whole place, so as you can see, the, the island is uh, the whole thing that you can traverse with your broom. Slowly you're getting upgrades for your broom. The more quests that you're doing, you're supposed to be um, a delivery person because you fell from the mountain and you're supposed to be a witch but uh, you fell from the mountain and then you're trying to go back up again so this will happen after you upgrade your broom many times enough this is not a long game this took around three hours but definitely from uh, a younger audience uh, it would probably take a little bit longer maybe to six hours depending on what they want to do because the game kind of gives you free reigns on what you're going to do. It gives you some missions where you can go and deliver the items, which is the main objective of the game. But there is definitely some room to wiggle around there. And you can do side missions that there are also deliveries. When you upgrade your broom, you can carry multiple items. So you can do those side deliveries as well. You can find secrets. And based on your performance on the delivery, you get paid. So you always will try to aim to have through the three different kinds of uh, delivery ratings. Is, there, is the green that is the best. Then you have the yellow that is kind of mixed. Uh, orange that is kind of mixed. And then you have... The red one that should be that the people that receive the delivery are unhappy. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to really be the case in this game. Because it try not it tries, it is a cozy game, but it doesn't really give you any consequences. So sometimes they will give you conditions to not get wet the food, like you see here. But even if you deliver it on the wet state, you don't really lose progress or the customers may be a little bit unhappy, but you don't really lose anything. This game is very stress-free, uh, is quite on the cozy side, and you're supposed to just deliver, find the people in the island and deliver the goods to them. And then after you do that, you get paid. If you want, if you are a person that you want to find everything on the island, this will take a little bit longer to do everything, but as I said, this is not really a long game. Although, because it is not long doesn't mean it's not fun and doesn't mean it's not well crafted. On the Steam page, it's listed as early access, which means that they will gonna keep doing updates. The video and the performance on, is on Switch, and it's using the day one patch. So it is the 1.01 .01 version of the game. And they were listing on the Steam, but the, the story, the main story of the game, the main loop of the game is already completed. Even though it's listed as an early access, they intend to make more dungeons and more stuff for the game. So that is really much what they were trying to do here and i'm pretty i'm pretty satisfied with the performance on switch the only thing that felt a little bit weird was uh, using the broom sometimes the handling and the jumping uh, was feeling a little bit off when you were going through the air currents but outside of that it was once you figure it out how it works with when you stand on things you can't get the gist of it and it becomes easier over time and i can see that this game can be played multiple times from start to finish and you just enjoy the game all over again you just turn your brain off and enjoy some cozy nice feeling game doing deliveries 
which is really the main focus on the game. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was at the start expecting to, to have some spells to be able to do and some combat at least, very basic combat, but it doesn't seem to be the case. This is a delivery game and that is nothing wrong with it. It is very something definitely unique on that you get, you get either by traversal or on your broom and you will go to deliver things. As I said, whatever you do, how bad the product that you're gonna deliver gets, it doesn't really matter because when you get paid, I couldn't really understand what you're gonna do with the money that you were getting. I think maybe you could unlock some different outfits, which is something that is cool, but overall didn't really show too much. So as I saw here, you get some interesting stuff that you can do. You get the little ball in the water. You see the fish, very intuitive. And you run to the fish and you're supposed to take it in and deliver it to his dad as that you were fishing out there. And you just, I, I'm a bit disappointed you couldn't fish normally because that would be way cooler, but this is not bad as well. So, what you should expect from this game is that it's gonna be an adventure. Definitely, I feel that this is something for a person that wants to chill out and enjoy. No chores and stuff like that. Like, you're not trying to do achievements and stuff like that. You just enjoy the game, enjoy the music, the art style of the game, and you just roam around the city. And even if you're done, you can do it all over again. There is no problem with that. So you can put as many hours as you want. The price of the game is on $20 right now. And as I said, there may be more updates coming since on Steam it was listed as early access. But it was released normally on Switch. So they have definitely a little bit of a different plan. Maybe the way that they interpret the early access is really just... Uh, about free updates and depends on the support of the game they will do more or less <laughs> i will definitely say that this game was interesting and uh, that was like kind of breath of fresh air from other games that you were playing definitely a game for the switch i tested it on the switch light it plays pretty good as well uh, it looks nothing looks too small or the text and stuff like that so everything was great so even if you are on Switch Lite, on the Switch OLED, on any other part of the Switch ecosystem, you will definitely have a great time. So that was really much it. There was not too much about this game. You really just do the same thing going around and around. But I can definitely see that this will have an audience of uh, games, that there are so many games now that they have this same kind of way, that they are cozy games and they aim to this particular uh, player base. And that is completely fine because people just want to play new things after a while. Even though people are going to play like Stardew Valley, for how long are you going to play Stardew Valley? Maybe you're going to take a break, play for example this, and then go back to Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing. Anyway, this was really the point of the video. I think it's a great game. I should definitely give it around 8 out of 10 because I believe that this game definitely can find its audience. The, the game looks really charming. I just wish it was, for me personally, it was a little bit longer, but it doesn't really matter what I think. This is not really, I'm not really the main audience of this game, so I can't really judge it too much for that but for what it's doing its appeals the art style the music and the gameplay mechanics it's definitely a game that you will feel that this could have been made by nintendo themselves and that is really the whole point because it fe just feels really good playing this game and it's pretty fun which is really the main point of playing games thank you for watching this video and thanks to Key Mailer for providing the code. I hope everyone has a great day. See you on the next video.